Hey, 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 welcome to Mickey and My Crab. This is Hilda, your host. Final, we got to the first chapter of the paper talk. <coughs> Today, we're going to start with the series, The Honey Bun. We're going to start with the little couple with the umbrella, which is the one that you guys chose on the on Instagram. So over here in this episode, we're going to glue the first one, the first print, uh, print, and then the rest one, we're going to treat them. I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you on cutting the pieces. One word of encouragement. This is a craft that is very forgiving. I think it's the most forgiving craft because there is no um mistake that cannot be repaired or hidden and you know not even a satellite is going to notice it so let's breathe and for a moment let's take three deep in the uh, deep breath and exhale so I hope you got your materials I'm gonna show you um, this process uh, we're gonna cut and try to mark and fix the edges on this episode if not we're gonna do it on the second part and uh, so let's get started first thing first Protect your table. We're going to deal with two glues, the spray one and the liquid one. And you don't want your tables to be messy. This is a kit. We're going to work on it. When you get this kit, you're going to get a set of instructions. The instructions, we were going to go over, but it's like I just have to do it step by step when I'm explaining you because it explains you everything but it's better for me to explain you um, and then you will see you know it's the same thing as the paper so I'm gonna take those two pieces out you get those instructions and then you get this this is the cutting guide and this is the first print sprint no print that you get in your kit you get a set of let me take this off i'm not going to use it you get a set of six print so you know if you damage one you still have an extra one and this is the board over here tells you information about the place where you can get the set of the kits of print. This one is a six by eight. So it will fix a frame that I have uh, that will be eight by ten with a mat with an opening for a six by eight. So or a six by eight frame. So you can use either side the white one or the black one to glue your first print. So how you glue your first print? Remember I told you to use, uh, let me get one of on this one. How you glue your first print? This first thing you gotta do is, with the white part on it, you're gonna use a spray. This the spray one is better because it will help you regarding regarding the bubbles. I'm gonna get my roller. Which I forgot. Okay. The the spray one is better because you um it will be easier so don't have any bubbles or any wrinkles if you use a glue one you gonna take a little more time because then you have to 
uh, spread it real good and you have to make sure that uh, it doesn't uh, glue to the board with bubbles. So when you're spraying your, your, your glue, you're going to be generous on it. Like I said, you have to, you have to, uh, so we're going to put this in here and I'm going to do it. You're going to center. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're going to mat it and look at it. And then you go one side and then the other side. You can use your diamond painting roller to make sure that it's glued completely with no bubbles. Okay. I'm going to do this process for this set of print and the next one. Just in case you have any problems, you can comment it below. Okay. Yeah, how it is. Now this doesn't want to get out of here. Okay. So here it is. Your print. You have some glue over here, but it's okay. Like I said, nothing in here can be... Uh, it's really a mistake. It just, uh, you can fix it. You can take a little wipe if you have uh, glue on the edge and clean it up. And remember, this is something that is going to be covered by your framing. Um, okay, for the other prints. I'm going to turn this over a little bit or put another piece on it. On top of it. So it won't... Um, I don't know what I did with my big scissors. But you gotta protect your table. That's the more, most important thing. You have to protect your table. Okay? Okay, for the other prints, you're gonna treat the other prints with the liquid glue, okay? Using the back of the print, and then you're gonna let them dry for about 15 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna show you two, and then the rest one, I'm gonna fast forward, because we got, and then wait 15, 20 minutes, I will put you on pause, and then we come back and we start cutting, okay? So let me, and you're gonna use, one of this to spread your glue, okay? So, to do that, you gotta be a little generous, because remember, the reason for the treating on the print is so it will stretch the paper a little bit, and it will make it better for cutting okay it makes them a little more stiffer um, you're gonna spread it real good you can spread one side first it doesn't matter if it curves it's okay okay if it curves doesn't matter they're gonna flatten out Make sure that everything is covered in glue. Everything. Okay? Everything. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Don't get scared if it occurs. It's going to do that. So, let's go to the next one. Okay? My other 
print. So we're here. I'm just trying it's out of space. So I'm going to do it one more time. You're going to be generous in your glue. You know, you cannot be skimpy because you want this spring very well prepared for the for cutting and also embossing. It helps the paper for embossing and cutting because it stretches the paper a little bit. Even though you see a curve over there, but actually the molecules, for what I understand, it stretches the paper. And it's better for cutting. You let it dry. For 15 and 20 minutes. So I'm going to do the other ones. And when they are dry, we come back and we're going to start cutting. Okay. I'm on to my last uh, print. And something that I wanted to show you when uh, when you are gluing, uh, I mean prepping the the prints, is once you put the glue on, you know they curves. So you're gonna stretch it a little bit. I'm gonna show you without touching it, only slightly. That's the last print. So it will stretch because otherwise it's going to stick to the surface. Okay. So you want to uh, uh, stretch it a little bit, but it's okay if it gets curved because it's going to, uh, it's going to uh, stretch eventually. That stretching that you do, so it won't stick to the surface, doesn't have anything to do on how it is going to get straight. And after these, we're going to pause because I got to let them wait 15 minutes at least in cold weather. Well, we're going to have to wait a little bit more. So, you know, it gets curved when you pick it up. So you're going to use, you know, the ends. And you're gonna try to stretch it and leave it right there. Hold on. Okay, that way it won't stick to the paper or whatever surface that you're working on. So as soon as they dry, we come back and we're gonna start cutting and the cutting techniques. I'm gonna zoom you in so you will see better so we are back i have to give it about 25 minutes because i'm in cold weather and it takes a little bit longer to dry so we're going to start cutting the pieces but i want you to think uh to analyze a little bit uh, the print this is the original uh the print that you glue on the board right which is this one we're going to use a first print print to cut the first one. If you notice it, I'm going to use the board as a sample. If you notice on this print, we're going to cut off all this, right? We're going to cut all, cut all the background, including the drops, except for this one. Because this one, let me see, are you seeing this? Except for this drop, because this one, I'm going to show you how to make it click crystalline with the silicone. OK, so and we're going to cut this part. And if you notice it over here, uh, you're going to cut this little bit. You're going to leave these ones and this one, you're going to cut it like a curve type. You're going to cut all that off. You're not going to worry about that. Okay, on the inside over here, 
we're going to cut off this part of her um, hair and um, nothing else. And we're going to cut up all the inside. This is the background and in here in the umbrella. One thing that I suggest you uh, is to divide the print in half and start on the inside. So you will have more way, more space to hold your print. So start from the inside. I'm going to start from the middle of it. Uh, down at the bottom on the inside because over here we're going to use the exacto knife and probably the excuse me the curve scissor okay so let's cut the first print oh let's see how we're going to do this i want you guys to be able to see I'm trying to fix this a little bit so you'll be able to see. So I have to put it like this because I'm right-handed. So, um, but I hope you can see what I'm cutting. So I'm going to start from here. When you cut, you cut uh, through the edge, edges and you move your exacto knife forward you're just gonna leave a little bit and you're gonna do it carefully you're gonna have to move the print around and don't worry if you leave it a little bit we're gonna uh, take care of that the important thing is that you cut off the part in the middle and if you make a mistake, remember, this is a very uh, forgiving uh, craft. And there is no need to panic. I'm going to do this size first. You see, I cut a little bit in there. And I don't think this exacto knife is kind of exacto either. So, I'm going to show you a trick. If you don't want to use the exacto knife, you make kind of a triangle over here, a hold. Oops. And then you can use your curved scissors. You insert the scissors in there and start cutting i'm cutting for where where i did with the exacto knife so i can fix some of the parts that i left so that's another trick but you get used to it um this part over here that is bugging me i cut it off so you want uh this is like when we were little girls and we were cutting uh those paper dolls remember some of you might remember this okay here you got we're gonna fix this a little bit this part i'm gonna use this sacto knife because it's kind of uh hard okay so let's keep on using the knife so that's one technique that you can use so and we are gonna cut this I have a very tight grip. That's what I think this is not helping me regarding that. 
Oh, that there is a part over here that we need to cut off. Like I said, you have to cut the whole background. The only part you don't cut is this, this uh, drop. But everything else, you're going to have to cut it. You have to follow the guide. This is the first print. The first print. Why do I keep saying this first print? It's the first print that is going to be glued into the board. This one, I'm going to leave it for the scissors because it's easier with the curved scissors. So we're going to keep on doing this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut it over here and see if I can use my curved scissors over here. Because when you cut, you're going to move the print, but you have to be careful you don't cut the other side. And you're going to use the curve of the scissors. That's it. So we can cut that little bit in there. So for the rest over here, I'd rather use the scissors. Because it's a lot of curving here. I, mean, I like to cut these little pieces because they bug. They don't, um, they're an obstacle to you be able to cut it better. Over here, I'm going to use the Sack the knife a little bit just to make sure I don't cut anything else. You see, this is a matter of personal judgment. Um, how you want to follow the instructions for the Okay, that's right. And I don't worry about this white parts area because I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So we did the half done. Now we're going to do the other way. The other side. Okay, so over here. You have to be careful you don't cut his throat. Okay, for this thin part, you're going to go a little over outside the edge. You're going to leave a little bit. I don't know if you'll see it in there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do, let's do this. This one, because he has so many curves, I want to use a scissor. Let's do that part first. What we got here, we're going to cut this off. Cut that little bit in there. Remember, you move the print. So we got that. We got a little bit over here that we need to cut off. Because they want this part according to the instruction. If you see it over here, it's being cut off. Or you can leave it if you want to. I just don't want, if I leave a part that is not cut off, I just don't want it to have it. I'm going to use the straight scissors. So now we're going to do the other side. Again, we're going to leave a little bit of the umbrella handler. And like we said, we're going to cut this part of her hair. We're going to cut it out. 
Oh, and also something that I noticed, you cut out the little, um, oh, I forgot this part of the body. <laughs> I, I know, no, the eyebrows. These are the eyebrows, the eyelashes. <laughs> oh, you got to watch my whip and chat about my blunders in English, which I keep doing because sometimes I forget words. Okay, over here is when I want to use the curve scissor to get this. The instructions are not set in stone. They are like a guide. It all depends on how you like to deal with the with the prints. You can also personalize your prints. You can add more pieces if you want to. But since I want to do this for beginners, I don't want them grabbing their hair, you know, trying to uh, think too much. And this is something for, you know, like somebody needs an emergency gift. And you can find anything on the store and you want to give something unique. You can do this following the instructions. So we have one more part on the inside, this part of the umbrella. It's okay if you leave a little bit because theme parts, uh, you know, theme areas of the picture, you're gonna have to leave a little bit of more of the print so you'll be able, because you're gonna use your marker to fill in. Okay, since we are on the top, we're gonna start over here. So we're gonna do this, right? And we're gonna do the rest with the scissors. Leaving always an edge. I know because I tend to uh, cut more than I should. Okay. That happens to me quite a few times in the uh, one with the butterfly. Okay. Over here, we're going to use the Okay, so now here it is. On the hair of the guy, right, to make it uh, more fluffy, we're going to do like a zigzag cuts in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this inside. I'm talking about with the sacto knife. Okay, and then the rest, we can cut it with the scissors. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this first. Then over here, you don't need that little piece of hair. And over here, like I said, we only gonna leave these three. This one is gonna be cut off, and this one is gonna be, um, curved when we uh and like i said these ones you leave a little bit of uh of more um uh, edge and this one over here is gonna be cut off okay so let's get started with the Curve scissors, curve scissors. So we are cutting this part. You have to be careful. This one is a little delicate. So I'm going to leave it a little bit more. This one, I'm going to do it like this. Okay. But if these fall off, all you have to do is put a little bit of glue. 
the same glue that you used for the to treat the print okay remember we cut it over here with the exacto knife so you have to do this this you can do this so it won't bug you cut those pieces out The reason I'm making you watch this, so you will see, right, how these print and uh, uh, are cut for the paper towel. Well, you might say, well, there's no difference of cutting anything else. Oh, yeah, it is, because the thing is, you got to go by the cutting guide. You're not going to leave everything in there. And like I say, you have to make a judgment. If you see, do things by part. So we did that part already. Now on this one, we, we're going to cut off this. Okay, you see that? We're going to cut off this, this part. You see it on the print? We're going to cut this part. Okay, let me do use this. You can undo this because this is a piece that you can preserve for later, just in case that you lose it. Over here, you're going to leave everything, including um, her hair. So. Okay, over here is when the exacto knife comes handy. We can cut a little bit more here. And this one is one of those that you can do it like this in six up form. This one, this is the part that I went to inside. So I'm just going to cut it up, but I have to be careful. I'm glad I made that mistake. I don't go crazy anyway with mistakes. The reminder can be cut with the scissors. So we have our first piece cut. Right now, if you put that like that in here, you're going to see all these white areas, this white edge that you cut. That's why I was talking, I'm going to fix this. That's why you need to use your markers. Okay, something about the markers that I want to say. When you have this, you should use a marker that has the color that is closest to the edge. Over here, we have kind of a mustardy color. If you have the color, that's fine. If you don't have it, that's okay. You just use the dark brown. So on my case, this part of the, the boy's hair, I'm going to use this. So you're going to do it 
right here on the edge. You're gonna go like this, and you're gonna go like this. Right? You're gonna go like this. And over here, you can do this, because if you don't do it, that white part is gonna show. The rest can be done in the dark brown. This is a set of marker that they don't bleed. You should test it first in a piece of paper. Sometimes when you test a marker in a piece of paper, it starts spreading out. So that means that it's a bleeder. Let's put it that way. And uh, now we're gonna do the rest in dark brown. And take a real good look because you're gonna see the difference, okay? We're gonna mark it. We're gonna uh, paint the edges, I should say. Oops, there is a mistake. That's, you see, it went over here. So I did this immediately and it went away. That's why I love these markers. Here's another one. This I think you can do this on a weekend. Um, the reason that I'm being slow over here is because I want you to see everything. Over here, I go on the back because that part is not going to show up front. It's going to be hidden. But this edge that I left on it, I'm going to paint it out. If you've seen this, okay, guys, um, let me know. If not, uh, if something needs to be changed, I'll change it. Um, don't worry about it. But this is very important for you. You see the difference right now? on the white edges and this part that is already been done so i'm gonna go through the boy i'm gonna continue over here you should um be able to mark it we have you have to be careful I'm going to mark his face first. I'm doing a brown because the brown line is the closest one to the edge. So that's the color that you should be using. You can use your finger to smooth the pain. I mean the mark, the marker. Oh my English, oh my English, when I will get a ride. Let's keep over here because this is the most difficult part. And this one's like this on corners. Also, this makes the, the picture look more professional. Oh, here is a cut that I did accidentally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try to blend it right there. I'm sorry guys if I went off camera. Oh don't worry about that. That part is not gonna be seen. And we start being gluing this. You just don't leave any left, any edge behind.
just put it in here and kind of um, angle the marker and do this and it will be easier to do it same thing with this one this is for fine places delicate places like this one Again, we just angle the marker. You should have a white piece of paper underneath. It's just that this I'll use it for. And look, it comes out, probably comes out with alcohol or something. I'm um, sorry, guys. I'm probably going off. Oh, where's my... Uh, I got to find the... Here it is. Here it is. It broke out, so I got to find uh, the glue just a moment. I have a little bit of the glue on here, but I'm going to wait until I get there. And then inside here. So I'm going to do this area first. Just look at it on the edge. And trying to fix anything left off. We are done with this part. Now I'm going to correct that. This one. This is a, a drop. And it's too, not too rounded over here, so I'm going to round it a little bit. And I'm going to, using this, I'm going to see if I can uh, paint the edge. Because he has like a dark brown, okay? So you see this part came off from here. So let's fix it. You can either... Do it either in top of the umbrella or on the bottom of the umbrella. I'm going to use the top because it will be easier. So I just glue it. It's supposed to be falling down like this. Glue over here to reinforce. This is the same Elmer glue as the big bottle so i'm gonna let it dry once you uh, fix the edges the next thing you should do and this is very important is to put the number on it so this is print number one you put it anywhere as long you know it's on the inside this is too big for one of these uh, small ones, so I just set it aside. And I usually, <clears throat> uh, what I usually do is I um, put it in a Ziploc bag. So now let's go to the second one. This is number two. Number two is the same as number one. Except that it's not going to have the grass. Okay, both feet are going to be uh, doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that part. And uh, I think I'm going to be cutting the rest of them. And then when we come back, unless you want to see this part too. But it's the same as this. Okay. And then I come back and we cut this one, okay, together. That's okay. See you then. Okay, guys. Um, I've been cutting the second um, print, but I can see there are some differences uh, from the first print. In the first print, I mean print that we cut, we left a little bit of the neck, of the neck. Uh, the shirt neck. Uh, today is not day. My tongue is blue. But over here, 
it requires to cut that piece off. When you're going to have to do that, you got to, if the piece is like this, you got to align the cut with the reminder of the shirt in this case. We're going to see it on the next print. And then, I keep saying a sprint, on the next print. And over here, we're going to eliminate this part of the umbrella. So I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to do the marker thing. I just wanted to clarify that because some, those the little details is what makes... <coughs> is what makes a difference in uh, when you put the prints together okay so we're gonna i'm gonna finish this and i'll be back so <clears throat> i finished number two and i finished to put the uh mark it around you know kind of paint it like i showed you before and this is number two, right? And this is the most important part, number two. Put the numbers on it because you have to put these pieces in the numerical order. Number one goes first, number two goes second, third, and so far. So I'm going to put that one on the side. And now I'm going to do this one with you because these ones requires some extra cutting remember this so we have this little piece from this one that we cut the grass on it so we're going to cut those pieces from there these two number six and this one fitting here so i'm gonna cut this real quick um, sometimes when you have to pick this up, you might want to use uh, one of this. This one also has the edge, the color to the edge closer, uh, brown, so I'm going to do it that way. Then I'm going to, let me cut a little bit because it's point over here then I'm gonna put the number which is number six on the back so we're gonna cut this piece now you can use certain pieces from the previous print if they are not coming attached to something else And this is print number five. Let me put the cap so it won't dry. There, oh, here it is. This is number five. Okay, so now we're going to take another print. This one, when I was picking up the paper, it came with it and I kind of, uh, how you say it? Um, crank low a little bit so I'm going to use it for the last pieces so on this one okay this one is very important I'm going to do this one with you and but I'm going to fast forward but first I'm going to explain it on this one we're going to be cutting their faces off here you leave the Ear. We're going to be cutting their faces off. We're going to cut this part over here. Okay. We're going to cut this part. So you have to make sure to follow the line. Okay. We're also going to cut this part of the umbrella. Let me zoom you up a little bit. We're going to cut this part of the umbrella. We're going to cut off her hair, but we're going to cut this part. This is going to be piece number four. Okay. Over here, we're going to cut all this out. 
So it's going to be out. Okay, we already cut these two pieces and the grass doesn't go in there. So over here on the girl, besides cutting this part, right? Uh, we're going to be cutting this part out too. This one and this one over here of the dress. And we're going to cut one of her legs. Oh, that sounds cruel. <laughs> so, but we're going to leave this little piece of hair and this part of the hair. But all this is gone. All this, this part, this, and this, and part of her leg. Over here for the guy, as you can see, that's why you have to observe the print, the cutting guy for the print. And that's what is so easy because it tells you what you need to cut. On this one, we're going to cut also one leg of the guy. We're going to cut this part of his shirt, right? And then we're going to cut this inside over here, right? Along with this side. So we're going to cut all this in part. And then on the back, we're going to be cutting the book. And we're going to cut all this part of the book. We're going to cut part of the uh, shirt's neck over here. All these hair, a little bit. We're going to cut all this. We're gonna, and we're going to cut the drop over here. Okay, so I'm going to do this one with you, so you will see, and uh, let's get started. It's going to be fast forward, but it's not going to be that fast, so you'll be able to see it, okay? So... This is going to be gone, so it's going to be easier. Well, let's do the inside first, okay? So the little girl is going to be gone except for this part of her hair and this part of her hair, so... Okay, so we got that part, okay, now... Over here inside, we got to cut all this, including this part of this. So to make it easier, I'm going to cut this part of the book or newspaper that he has. And then this part of the hand stays, as you can see over here in the print so over here here it is over here this part is gonna be gone and then over here i'm gonna follow the line over here but always cutting outside that edge. So now we need to cut this over here and this part. Let's start with the flower, but we're gonna leave this part of the dress, like the waist. That's one part of the dress. Now we're going to go to this part. Remember to post your questions and comments down below. No question for me. I don't judge people who make questions. Sometimes people underestimate themselves. They think uh, they're going to ask a dumb question. I don't believe there's such a thing as a dumb question. So... 
I'm cutting that part of the dress off, right? And we're gonna cut the other leg, the leg. Like I said, when something gives you a problem, make it triangle, which is easier than doing a round. And just put your scissors through it. Okay, the guy's leg is also gonna be gone. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to move the light a little bit. It won't let me see where I'm going. We got here, this part over here, we gotta cut this dress all the way to over here, and then over here, cut her hair, and then we gotta cut separately this. So let's cut it and mark it. I'm afraid that if I do it with the exacto knife, it will break apart sometimes, these little pieces. Okay, so let's uh, fix the edge. So, and this is number four. I'm going to put the number inside. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, and we're going to continue with this. This part is also, the red one, is uh, eliminated. This one, we don't need the drop. We don't need the drop and we don't need this part. So we can. Uh... Again, over here, we're going to cut that part of the neck. But we got to cut it in alignment with this. And then we're going to cut the white part of the book, the pages. Okay, here we got it. I'm going to mark it to make sure this is piece number three. Because I'm going to do the... Never mind. I'm going to do the edges of camera. Um... So you see how this played out. You have to be mindful on what areas they'll tell you to cut out. So let's go to the next one. On this one, you're going to have only... On this one, you're going to have only the girl. Oh, where is my... My point is on this one, you're only going to have the girl attached to the umbrella, but you're going to cut the rest of the body off. This is the only part that you're going to have attached. You're going to cut this part, which is this number 16. You're going to cut his here. You're going to cut number 12, which is the top of it, along with the umbrella and the hand. The pants, one of the pants, the girl, one of the cuff of the socks, right? The shoes, and then you're going to cut the butterfly again. So the book disappears on the back. So you just have to follow that. I'm going to finish this up, and on the next... Um, video. I'm going to show you all the pieces 
uh, finish and then we're going to start embossing and gluing to the uh, to the board okay so until then thank you for watching leave comments uh, this is the first video maybe it's too long um, I really would like a feedback on you know how to best do it you want me to see all the pieces cut it you want to fast forward it you want me to explain you it? This is uh, mostly for newbies, for nobody who has done this. So I want to be, I want to explain and be as helpful as much as I can. Okay. So thank you for watching. Happy New Year to those who haven't seen. Um, and love and peace. See you next time.